Hi viewers, welcome to our channel Max IELTS Tutorial. If you are a first time viewer of our channel, then subscribe our channel without fail. In our previous video, we had discussed about the pattern of IELTS general and academic reading test. In this video, we shall explore about the pattern of IELTS listening test. Academic and general candidates take the same listening test. This consists of four separate sections and a total of 40 questions. Possibly 10 questions in each section. Section 1 and 2 are set in a social context and section 3 and 4 are set in an academic context. In the IELTS listening, you will hear the audio only once. It takes 40 minutes to complete the test. 30 minutes for testing and an additional 10 minutes for transferring the answers to the answer sheet. Talking about the section-wise division, section 1 is a conversation between two people about a general topic with a transitional purpose. For example, finding out information about travel. Section 2 is a monologue on a general topic with a transitional purpose. For example, giving information about events in the community. Section 3 is a conversation between two or three people in an academic context. For example, a student and a tutor discussing an academic problem. Section 4 is a monologue in an academic context. Example, a lecture. Next, we shall move on to the types of question which will appear in an IELTS listening test. The first type of question is notes or summary or table of flowchart completion. For such types of question, you must complete the same with the suitable number of words within the given word limit. The second type of question is multiple choice question where you will have to choose either one or two options from the given alternatives. The third type of question is short answer type questions where you will have to answer the questions in the given word limit. Next type of question is sentence completion. So you will have to complete a sentence with a suitable word or words within the given word limit. The next type is labeling a diagram, map or a plan. So you will have to label either one using the words from the audio which you have listened to. The sixth type of question would be classification. You will have to classify the information given in the question according to three different criteria. These may be dates, names, types, etc. And the last type of question under this section would be matching type of question where you will have to match a list of statements to a list of possible answers. Example, peoples with the theories or dates. Talking about the flow of the test, each section begins with a short introduction telling the test taker about the situation and the speakers. Then, you will have some time to look through the questions. The questions are in the same order as the information in the recording. So, answer to the first question will be before the answer to the second and so on. The first three sections have a break in the middle allowing you to look at the remaining questions. Each section can be heard only once. At the end of the test, you will be given 10 minutes time to transfer your answers to an answer sheet. You will lose marks for incorrect spelling and grammatical errors. Hope you have got a clear idea about the pattern of IELTS listening test. In our next video, we shall see about IELTS speaking test. Like and share our video if it was informative. And don't forget to subscribe our channel for more videos. Click on the bell button to receive notification of our upcoming videos. You can also follow us on our Instagram and Facebook pages.